In the last episode of my Switzerland diaries, I took you to Geneva to explore the unexpected side of the city. In this episode, let me take you to a place that lies in Switzerland but behaves like Italy. After spending four days in Geneva, I took a train to Lugano to attend the Adventure Travel World Summit. Lugano is a lakefront city of the Ticino region set on the southern side of Switzerland and nestled up against Italy. In this Italian-speaking region of the country, you will find palm-fringed promenades, rock architecture, medieval castles, Italian cuisine and an enchanting laid-back attitude that's impossible to resist. Ticino is often referred to as Switzerland Zonnenstube, a German word for sunny Rome. People from the northern parts of the country flock here to enjoy a balmy Mediterranean climate that is mostly mild and sunny even during the winter months. The next difference was its Italian spirit that I could feel everywhere and everything, be it the language, food, culture or people. While Lugano is brimming with dozens of spots worth visiting, the scarcity of time allowed me to see only a few places. Here are some of the must-visit places and exciting things to do in Lugano. A boat trip on Lake Lugano. Discover the beauty of southern Switzerland from the perspective of the water. A walk around town. Long ago, I discovered that walking is the best way to explore any city and that's precisely what I did in Lugano. So that is my friend Natasha, she's from Dubai. Dubai. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, and that is Roberta from Brazil. And the three ladies are going to explore Lugano, Lugano at night. You must have heard about Geneva, you must have heard about Interlaken. But let me tell you about the hottest part of Switzerland, which is Lugano. If you have already done with the cold part, this is the place where you should come. It is the Italian side of Switzerland, which feels a more like Italy. It's very chill, it's a very cool place. The food here is amazing. People speak in Italian language, so this is the town. You should absolutely come and visit. Visit Maubri for a 360-degree view of Lugano. of Lugano on Mont Brie. So, I have to go here and I will take a funicular and go up. So, I think it's the last hour of the last gondola. So, the view of the top is very good. So, I am very excited that I will show you guys. I have seen a lot of Lugano, but as much as I have seen, it is very beautiful. And there is a part that you should definitely explore. So, just hold on for the view. I am excited that it will be very beautiful. Standing at an elevation of roughly 900 meters, Mohbre offers a great view of the surrounding lakes and mountains. To reach here, you need to ride a vintage funicular. To the top of Mohbre, with one change in between, it travels through a residential area as well as the woods. 
और सन तो सेट हो चुका है और थोड़ा सा ना कोहरा टाइप है तो मुझे नहीं पता व्यू कैसा होगा यहाँ पर बट फिर भी देखने की कोशिश तो करूँगी और आपको भी दिखाऊँगी कह सकते हैं हाँ पर आप ऑटम कलर ज़रूर देख सकते हो ये देखो आपको दिख रहे हैं थोड़े थोड़े ऑटम कलर्स यू कैन सी असली में जो व्यू दिखता है वो ऐसा व्यू दिखता है आपको डाइनेट प्याजा दला रिफॉर्मा द नियो क्लासिकल प्याजा दिला रिफॉर्मा इज द मोस्ट चेरिश पार्ट ऑफ लुगानो and you can spend days exploring lugano's incredible cuisine that features the finest italian swiss and particularly ticino delicacies although lugano was my base i wanted to get a taste of neighboring areas too What became the highlight of my trip was the day of adventure where I got a chance to try some unique experiences such as invoking the 007 inside me at the highest bungee jump point in Europe and visiting the smallest village of the country. So I planned a day of adventure trying out exciting experiences. Korepo visiting the smallest village in Switzerland. We are going to this village, Korepo. Uh, Korepo. 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 Yeah. Hello. Hi. That's my friend from Macedonia. Hello. Tell her. Tell them your name. I'm Emma, and I'm looking forward to the food and drinks oh, now yes. after the jump. Yes. Now to the jump. Yeah. So we are very excited. This is a very small village, Hi. and uh, it's a heritage Oops. village. Oops. Okay. So see you there at the oh, lunch time. <laughs> Village, so the the architecture, uh, architecture of of Corripo itself, but also the integrity of the land, landscape, which is very peculiar because there wasn't any reconstruction during the whole 20th century, and so as you can see, there are huge buildings in the area, so it's really yeah, it's special. Also the atmosphere, so the landscape itself. लाहौरी 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 तो एक दिल्ली से और एक लाहौर से स्विट्जरलैंड एक छोटे से गाँव में वहाँ पे हम एडवेंचर करते हुए मिले है ना अमेजिंग उन्होंने अभी बंजी जम्प भी किया जहाँ से जेम्स बॉन्ड ने किया था तो आप अपना नाम बताना चाहेंगे और कंपनी का नाम मेरा नाम उमर है कंपनी का नाम बियॉन्ड द वैली है मैं लाहौरी हूँ और हमारी कंपनी ऊपर गिलगित बल्तिसान में ट्रैकिंग करवाती है और अर्चना के साथ वी आर हेयर एट द दुनिया के आई वुड से वन ऑफ द मोस्ट परमिनेंट इवेंट फॉर एडवेंचर टूरिज्म एडवेंचर ट्रैवल और हमने पहचाना ऐसे हम दोनों एक जबान बोल रहे थे हिंदी से हमें पता चला कि भाई ये तो कोई आस पास के लग रहे Lugano is Switzerland's that mystic secret which hasn't revealed itself to the masses. Therefore, plan a slow and sustainable trip to this untouristy part of the country before it gets too late. I hope you liked this small intro of Sunny Ticino. In the next episode, I will take you to the adventure playground of Europe, Interlaken.